Hello everyone, welcome to my another tutorial. In this video we will be designing trendy UI food concept like these. Let's get started. I will be using these images. The burger and icons in these page for our design. Go to the top left hand corner of the Photoshop. Select file new to create new document. Name the document as you like. Width 1920 pixels. Height 1080 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels. And make it 16 bit document and. Then hit create to create the new artwork. Now click on the locked icon on the layer to unlock the layer. Then switch your color from the tool panel to black by clicking on X on your keyboard then hold Alt plus backspace or delete on your keyboard to set background foreground color to black. Now let's set up a guide. From the top of the Photoshop select view and from the drop down menu navigate down and click on new guide layout. Let's drag in our first image which is the burger, place it at the right hand side of the design just as you see in this video, adjust it if required by hitting on Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and resize according to our design perspectives. Let's type in our first text, select the type tool and type in your text, you can follow the and do the same thing you see me doing in these video or hide the text of your choice, I am just showing you example. But in these design I will type special tasty burger and make sure that you change the color of the font to white to make it visible since our background is black color. Increase the text size according to your choice to fit into our design. Let's type in our product description by selecting the type tool and drag on the background to fill it with default text, take note this is just an example but for you, you need to type in your description according to the product you use and adjust the size of the text to fit into our design perspectives. Also we need to add our product slogan, in this case I will be typing the nicer IT feel with every bite. You can add the your own slogan for your product descriptions of your choice, I am just showing you example. You can change the color of the font so that it mimic the color of our burger just as you see in these video, you can choose the color of your choice. Now let's add our logo for design, but in these design I will use a name logo just as you see, if you have your logo you can add it over there. Let's add our website navigator words, just select the type tool and type your website do's or you follow these example here. I will be typing burgers, desserts, drinks, order. As appointed you should know what you are into in your business of your choice. After arrange the words navigator and align the on top of the website just as you see in these tutorial. Also change the font size of each word and in these design I will set the value of font at 7 point. Align the text accordingly. Also change the color of each words except burger. Now let's add text placeholder for the order now. Select the rectangle tool and click on the design background and from pop out menu set the value according as you see in these video. Also select the type tool and type order now change the color from black to white to make it visible and place on top of the rectangle we create and change the color back to black just as you see in these video. Now duplicate the text order now by selecting and holding down the alt key in your keyboard and drag to duplicate it. And change the color to white so that it become visible. Then rename it go to menu. I think we should adjust the words navigators, so adjust it just like these before we add our other elect for the design. It look good to me now cool. It is time to add other text placeholder for our design. Select the rectangle tool and click on the background and set the figure as you see in these video. Change the color of the shape to white. 
Then, move the shape it to the top right hand corner of the design just as you see in these video. I think we need to drag down our words navigator so that it align with our logo just like these. Then drag in our account icon and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command T Mac to transform and adjust the size just as you see in this video. Now you see that our icon is white we need to change the color to black so go to the effect panel from the select effect and from the pop out menu select color overlay and change the color to black, you can also choose the color of your choice. Now select type tool and type in sign in. Resize the type and place it on top of the text placeholder rectangle at the top of the design just as you see in these video. Change to text to black after so that it becomes visible. The same way we'll do the same thing to the cart icon or by icon. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. Now let's drag in our cart or by now icon, and adjust it the same way we adjust the account icon. Hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and resize the icon according to the size of the shape placeholder for the icon. Just follow and do what you see me do so that we can both arrive at the same result. Now let's drag in our cart or by to the shape. Now you see that our icon is white we need to change the color to black so go to the effect panel from the select effect and from the pop out menu select color overlay and change the color to black, you can also choose the color of your choice. Now let's add some glow to the cart shape. Go to effect panel select out a glow and adjust the character just as you see in this video. It is time to add the prize tag, before then let's drag in the arrow icon. Drag the arrow icon from the layer panel and drag it below the burger image. Just as you see in this video. Adjust the description's text so that it doesn't affect the rectangle placeholder we want to add our text to. Let's add the rectangle placeholder for price tag, select the rectangle tool and click on the background and key in the figure just as you see in these video. Change the color of the shape to white. Move it close to the arrow icon. I think we need to adjust the rectangle placeholder select properties from the layer panel, and adjust the value just as you see. You can make it the size of your choice I am just showing you example. Before we proceed to the next stage select and group the layer accordingly. This is to have a more clearer views of all the layers. I will skip this so that I don't keep you waiting. Then type the price. You can type the price of your choice. Since the shapes panel is above the text panel, then we need to move the text layer above the shapes layer so that our price tag will fitly fit above the rectangle placeholder for our price tag, just follow and do the same thing you see me do in these video. After drag the text to the top of the rectangle placeholder and change the color to black to make it visible. Then adjust the size of the text according to your choice. Now let's add drop shadow effect to our burger so that it appear more realistic. Go to the effect panel and select drop shadow and change the bled mode to multiply. Opacity 70%. Angle 107 degree. Distance 50 pixels. Size 150 pixels. Noise 0%. Then hit OK. Now let's add two more shape to our design. Select the ellipse tool drag on the background to make a circle just like this and choose dark color not as dark as our background just to create an outline. You can always make these by your choice and it is optional. Duplicate the circle and place it at the top left hand where our logo sit, 
just as you see me do in these video. Resize the circle to fit into perspective just like these. Now let's add noise to the background. Make new layer and fill the foreground color with white. From the top, panel of the Photoshop. Select filter. From the drop down menu select add noise to add noise. And set the value you just as see and hit OK. Then change the blend mode to multiply from the layer panel. Now select all the circle together with the background and group them together and rename it background. The same way let's add glow to the order now shape. Go to effect panel select out a glow and adjust the character just as you see in this video. Finally let's set photo filter color so that our design look very good after it is printed or share on social media. Go to the adjustment layer and choose photo filter from the pop out menu and set the value according to your choice. With this our design is done. Thanks for watching, if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so and don't don't forget to like, share and leave us a comment.